Breaking news now at noon. Some communities are cleaning up today after strong storms knocked down tree limbs, causing power outages. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Bill Young. We're finding homes that still don't have power, and that could be a problem since we're dealing with record heat today. Let's get to CBS 17's Galat Malamud looking at the damage in Wilson County. Galat. Yeah, lots of work being done right now to repair downed power poles here along Forest Hills Road, which is now closed. You can see crews are out here lifting up those power poles. The one over there was down just a few minutes ago. It's been lifted up now. A city of Wilson spokesperson says 19 power poles on this road came down, causing massive power outages. She says out of the 36,000 customers that Wilson Energy has, 14,000 of them were without power as of 6 a.m. this morning. This outage caused the school district to cancel school today. She says there's not many reports of damage in the city, but just take a look at this video from outside of Wilson. The roof of a mobile home came off along Bass Road. It was completely torn off. The homeowner says it actually ended up in the road and then they moved it onto the grass. Here's how they described what happened. The train, honestly, it was terrible. I mean, then the roof, we didn't know the roof flew off. We got in the car about, what, 145? And it just sounded, it was horrible. And it was big hail coming down. It, I don't know what it was, honestly. If it was a tornado or just straight line winds. I had no idea, but it scared me. Yeah. The city spokesperson says crews from other municipalities came in to help with the power, calling this, quote, an all-hands-on-deck approach. Right now, the city says about 50 customers are still without power. No estimate of when it will come back on for them. But you can see that crews are actively working to put the power poles back up. As for Forest Hills Road, the city says they're hoping to get some of it open by the evening. Live in Wilson, Kilat Malamud, CBS 17 News. Power can be restored to these communities quickly, especially with the heat that we're dealing with. Down trees are one thing, those are a pain. The heat is dangerous. Right. A lot, thank you. And the storms did leave behind quite a mess in some parts of Wake County, too. We saw a tree limb.